Rishi and uh, uh, in the first lesson we will discuss about how to arrange matrix and array in MATLAB. So let's take a matrix for example uh, we say it's A and uh, yeah, we make uh, it by semicolon you see here semicolon and this is the matrix notation the square bracket and uh, take a vector v and uh, this is a three by one that means three column and one three rows one column matrix uh, and uh, if you want to know the size of size of a just size a that means three by two this is row this is column three rows and three columns and size of b similarly right size of b and this is three one three column one row and n dimension that means dimension of a is two and similarly dimension of b and you can add uh, matrix and vector a b sorry b it will give the matrix a matrix and uh, b matrix in here that means it's a new matrix you can say let's say x equals uh, a b so x this is the new matrix of x so and then well, let's take a new form of matrix uh, we say it's b so like that uh, 1 2 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 so it is the new form like this is b this is a and it gives the new matrix b and uh, and there is a new a new citation style uh, so I want to show something this is so there e y e that means this is the identity matrix zeros one right zeros that means all are zero in the matrix ones means all are ones and d i is a diagonal matrix this is for uh constant or each other upper triangular lower triangular random entries evenly spaced entries and cat made concrete along a given dimension and ref mat means duplicate vector across a dimension okay so these are some symbol in the matlab so when you write in a matlab like one column eight that means one two three four up to eight and when you write colon 2 is face 8 10 like that that means <clears throat> it will increase 2 up to 10 so 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 2 9 so in this way you can make the interval and uh, for example if you want to take this one say here 1 minus 5 minus 1 that means 1 to minus 1 it will increase minus uh, 0.5 that's it so okay now referencing element how can you reference the element for example if you want to reference uh, reference this element a23 that means a23 means uh, number two row three column so let's go there number two row three column that means this element six this is the referencing style row and column and for for b vector uh, this is b because b has only one row so two means uh, sorry b has only one column and three rows so beta means one so let's go uh, this is b1 b2 b3 so b2 is one they are also b2 one <clears throat>
and then <clears throat> and another another indexing is like that this so one two that means uh, row number one two two and column number two to three so let's go here row number one two two that means this row this row and this row and column number two to five this 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 so that means two three five six so it is the citation style two three five six and uh, let's talk uh, b so here uh, column number one and row number two to end so let's go b here column number one and sorry row number one column number two to in that means column one two three the end is three so the element are two to five our answer is two to five okay so again take um, this mean all rows and three means only three column so you can expect which which will be result so let's go be all rows that means <clears throat> row number one row number two and column number all columns that means sorry three columns mean five and six so five and six okay so okay let's take another thing here uh, this mean all row we, we say that b has three rows right one two three so b has three rows and this this one 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 that means it, it is it is goes uh, four column one two three four so this three means it has three rows and this one 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 means it it increase this dimension the four column so you can also play with uh, in rows like here you write one 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 in in terms of rows okay this is the new uh, type of expression <clears throat> okay now you write that uh, a2 here a2 can you guess what is a2 so the a2 is here a2 that means number two rows and a2 only that means it express only row number two that means four if i say that um, a4 that means here it is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 like here if i say if i type a8 a8 is 6 so a8 is yeah a8 is 6 in this way uh, sorry a8 is 6 a8 here a8 is 6 so in this way you can express the different type of index you can guess and uh, if i type like that uh, if i want a number of element like uh, here uh, index number one two three four so it goes here one four seven so i am writing here a one a two a three a four so it will come one four seven two see one four seven two <clears throat> okay so again if i write a a in i can also make a as a vector like that way so it will give me <clears throat> a one index 
a2 index a3 index a4 index here now it is like a vector <clears throat> and uh, i also flatten matrix a by type that means it, it will goes all of the indexes so i type in here it is coming at 147 up to last one so it is called flattening of matrix <clears throat> so let's take a random so how is random random means it it randomly initialized number between this and this <clears throat> so i hit enter it is initialized this one so it will give row number two uh, two rows and five column and it initialized between zero to one you see here uh, 0.9654 it is randomly initialized that's why it is called rnd random okay so if you want to delete any elements <coughs> let's say uh, <coughs> you want to delete uh, column number four and row number one and two so it it, it will delete this element and this element and the new element you see these elements are not present this element now came it now become uh, two rows four column okay if you want to expand the scalar matrix into the sub matrix you can write this way uh, so it will goes two rows and uh, uh, and it will take uh, zero in the last matrix that means it expand the scalar into some matrix you see here this one has number but this one has not number okay <clears throat> you can also expand expand the matrix like this way so it takes three column sorry three rows and uh, and <clears throat> and one <clears throat> so here this this one means column number one in the column number one it will expand only one three and other elements are zero zero and you see here we said that we define in here all column in the last column so and we define in here column number one last rows it will give three okay and now <clears throat> now we <clears throat> we are going to uh, logical indexing so the logical indexing is like that <clears throat> we say that <clears throat> sorry so b greater than three so let's take b where is b here b so greater than three that means this is less than two that element will be zero zero and this element is less than uh, greater than five that means it will insert automatically one so when there is a logical uh, any operator like greater than or less than it will automatically insert zero or one if the logic makes sense yes or no so there will be one there will be one there will be one so let's go there you see automatically this is zero and there is there is one okay and and we, we take b vector again and this is equals to zero b equals to zero that means this is equal sign and it makes zero zero so uh, we say we see here b is b is zero zero and there is one so it only takes zero element from the b vector zero zero not one okay you can express this in this way <coughs> and 
you can express b so it is copy the it is copy the first element three times that means zero 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 so one that means it copy it copy the first element zero 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 okay now you can all you can again regain the b value by typing logical 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. it will brings your previous element it will bring the every element <clears throat> so here here uh, and now we will go to matrix operation so let's say you can add a plus a it will give this one so we want to see the a so a plus a that means there is a and there is another a and it will add uh, 1 plus 1 2 4 plus 4 8 7 plus 7 14 2 plus 2 4 that means it add its own column column element okay now if you want to um, make any change like uh, subtraction so answer minus one it will it will give you uh, this way that means this one two minus one sorry two minus one is one eight minus one seven fourteen minus one thirteen four minus one three like this element okay you can also multiply the matrix this way 3v that means it multiply all of the elements into 3 and uh, also you can multiply a matrix into b vector it gives this one according to the b elements okay so now squaring how to you square a matrix element so squaring is like that if you want to square or cube you can also express cube Sorry. so it is max square the input is not valid okay so they do not take the uh, cube they take cube in another way okay now the uh, transpose how to transpose a matrix so transpose is the apostrophe on any matrix like this way so i make so it makes the transpose a a matrix multiply b transpose minus b matrix multiply a transpose and the result will be again transpose so it, it will be zero zero okay now you can you can think that uh, if i multiply a matrix and its transpose what is will be the result the result will be one right so okay the result will be one because transpose means one by b or inverse so it will be it will be make uh, one <clears throat> so now we are going to dividing so let's take a matrix it's called c and uh, and uh, we want to divide it by column uh, by vector b so it is come here so c by b and so it is one three minus one it is makes this result okay so now the array operation we will make uh, we will make the multiplication so again take a equals and uh, c this thing so uh, 
when you insert a dot that means it will multiply each element by this element you can guess that this is one one by one four multiplied to eight six multiplied seven forty two three multiplied to six in this way it makes the multiplication <clears throat> and uh, when you when you give not dot like this so it will make different you see here this result and this result is different so how can they multiply it so it multiply uh, mainly it is uh, these rows this column that means one by one uh, plus two times two plus three times six it gives 23 again same uh, these rows and this column again this rows this column it will make this way so it is a uh, you have to consider which type of multiplication you need element by element or just two matrix multiplication okay now uh, this is called dot division so dot division that means each element will be divided by its own that means one will divide by one four will divide by four seven will divide by seven that means it will makes one by one identity matrix okay now the uh, transpose uh, imaginary transpose the imaginary transpose is like that it will give you the minus one in the imaginary part of the matrix and uh, now um, if you want to exponent of a so this is the exponent of a it's like that that way okay so let's take sum sum of sum of column c1 <clears throat> here sum c1 so let's go where is c this so it will take uh, this one sorry so it will take one two six that means nine and uh, so here nine and again three four zero that means seven minus one minus one that means zero okay so if you want to make like that uh, some c2 some c2 how many how can it will make it so some c2 is 367 so let's take here 367 so some c2 it it will make this way that means 3 six and this is seven so the summary is if you take uh, one that means it will make individual column summation and if you make two it will make row summation okay one means column sum as uh, column summation and two means ro uh, rows summation okay now sparse so it's first matrix it is a <clears throat> it's a natural to think of a matrix as a complete rectangular table of number so sparse if you have a uh, some elements and uh, some other elements are not zero so you can make that uh, sparse in a sparse way so sparse is like that this is one by one that means row number one column number one element is one here and this is two one that means row number two column number one number four element four and this is three one that means row number um three and column number one this is uh row number one column number two that means one two this is two two this is three two so this is the expression different expression of the same matrix 
okay so you can also bring the matrix a again in a similar way okay so for example sparse here yeah. sparse one to four one to four it will brings uh, four three two one and eight two two that means it will it will bring two times so two four six eight it is the interval and this will the result two three five seven two three five seven so it's an interesting thing so again i talk like yeah uh, i change this minus and let's see it will not it say that it's uh, vector must be same the same length so here i change the to here and give the 8 in here let's see what happened okay it is also said that it's different way so here two positive and eight so you see here i changed the interval so the interval is now the before one due to minus it comes four three two one and due to positive two it comes one two three four and the second is same but this one seven five three two comes in a different way two three five seven so this is the different expression uh, which element is related to your uh, problems you can get the idea from here you can arrange this way either this way this is called sparsing so that's it uh, i will discuss um, in the second video about about the uh, description and function so thanks for watching the video